Tuelekee sasa ya sasa ambapo bunge la kaunti hiyo hilo limepitisha hoja kumtimua naibu gavana William Udwol kwa madai ya utumizi mbaya wa mamlaka na ukiukaji wa katiba. Hoja hiyo iliungwa mkono na wawakilishi wadi 38 kati ya 39 walohudhuria kikao hicho. Na kama anavyotuarifu Laura Utinu, kamati maalum inatarajiwa kuwasilisha ripoti kamili tarehe nane mwezi Juni kubaini uzito wa madai dhidi ya Udwol. Katika kikao maalum cha Jumatatu wawakilishi wodi 38 waliohudhuria kikao hicho waliunga mkono hoja ya mwakilishi wa Asembo Mashariki Godo Nonguru ya kumngatua ofisini naibu gavana wa kaunti ya Siaya William Odwol Kulingana na mwakilishi huyo Odwol alihusika katika matumizi mabaya ya mamlaka kwa kutumia hadhi yake kumpaka tope gavana wa kaunti hiyo James Orengo kwa juhudi zake za kutimiza ahadi alizotoa wakati wa kampeni hii ni baada ya Odwol kuwasilisha ripoti bungeni akimshutumu gavana Orengo kwa kuhusika katika ufisadi How I wish he would resign as a deputy governor and face Michael Lee Felix Judy of West Alego and see if he can muscle vote from West Alego to be a representative and be a member of the county assembly so that he can oversight the executive We are not in uh, in the executive wars as assembly I pray that we move forward very objective uh, and very balanced to ensure justice is served to either way. Baada ya uamuzi huo, bunge la Siaya lilibuni kamati maalum itakayoongozwa na mwakilishi wa Imbo Mashariki Francis Otiato ili kukusanya maoni kutoka wadau mbalimbali kuhusu kupitishwa kwa hoja hiyo ya kumtibua Odwol. The committee should also note the provisions of standing order number 718 read together with 72 of the county assembly of Siaya which in effect provides that deputy governor has the right to appear and be represented before the special committee during its investigations. Matukio haya yanajiri siku moja baada ya chama cha ODM tawi la Siaya kuafikiana kumtema Odwol kwa madai ya kukiuka kanuni za chama hicho. Laura Otieno, Runinga, Your Citizen.